market for a graphics card. Yes, we are. Now, I've done some comparison and I was looking at them. If I wanted to get a 2070, I'm going to easily pay about $100 more. So if I typed in RTX 2070, because I'm trying to find a new graphics card and I got anywhere from about $400 to $500 to spend. So I'm looking at them and oh, there's one right there for 350, but they're all bids. Every single one that I keep finding our bids and there's like four or five days to go look see here's a 2070 for 204 four days left right if I go and make a bid for 250 it goes up sorry the bid has been increased it, it keeps doing that to me so I have been searching and what I'm looking for actually I keep landing back on this this is the MSI 1080 and it's a certain type of MSI. This has their twin frozer cooler on it and it's their Gaming X card. Now, why is this card so important to me? Because I have the water block that will fit this graphics card. And it's a 1080. There's really nothing wrong with the 1080. Yeah, you can go and get the newest, the 2070s or the 2080s, but that's easier said than done. I mean, how much is a 2080 right now? Let's see here. I haven't even looked for those because I, I just figured they were just way too much money. 500. Once again, this is a bid. So that $450 price tag will not be there. This is a bid. 360. And you see, that's my other problem. They're all used cards. I really don't like buying used hardware, especially graphics cards. I mean, because you're spending four or five hundred dollars on a card that you know nothing about. You don't know how the person treated it. You don't know the way that it was kept. You don't know if they was in a bit mining farm and it ran 24 seven, seven days a week for two years at a hundred percent. And it's on the verge of dying. You don't know that. So some of you guys may or may not know that I just ordered a GTX 1080 um, 8GB Gaming X card. And the whole reason why I ordered that card is because I have a brand new water block to go with that card. And it's a 4K gaming card up until about two years ago this was the card to have so this card is still very relevant and it is still a very powerful graphics card so anyway i bought it i spent 454 dollars on it that was two days ago i sent them the, the seller a message and i asked him his asking price was 400 dollars i asked him if he would take 380 and what the condition of the card is because he wasn't actually offering any actual pictures of the card he was just he just took a picture from the internet of the card and put it on his post that's fine whatever so I asked him if it had the box does it have the instructions does it have the driver disc the stickers uh, how you know complete is the is it so he got back to me and said, I just wanted to follow up on the question you asked um, in your offer. I don't have the original box, but the card is in excellent condition and has been very little used. Any concerns? Let me know. Otherwise, I'll look to ship it out. Thanks. Okay. And I said, oh, it works great. And I'll, uh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, I hope the card gets here in one piece and that it works good. He then replied to me, oh, it works great. I'll pack it very carefully. Okay. He then tells me, he says, oh, I'm, I'm getting ready to ship it out. About three hours later, I get this message. It says, sorry, Don, had a problem with the card when I pulled it out of my computer. I've canceled the transaction and sent you a refund. 
Now, let me tell you guys about something. My gut feeling told me not to do this to begin with. My gut told me not to buy this card from this person. And I wasn't exactly sure why. Uh, it's a seller out of Brooklyn, New York. I guess that should be my first red flag. Uh, the second red flag was that he wasn't offering any actual pictures of the card. All the pictures were from the internet. So he wasn't actually proving that he owns the card. Um, and then the, the third thing was is that if he is trying to scam me, with eBay's guarantee, I should just get the money back. Right? I, sh I should just get it back. Um, there shouldn't be any issues or anything. Um, so the guy canceled the order on me um, So now what I'm doing is Shopping for the graphics card again. I just checked my account and He hasn't paid me back the money. I haven't received the refund yet So I technically can't go out and buy another one until I get that money back so anyway, now my money's tied up for three or four days, and I just thought I'd let you guys know that, you know, it's, <laughs> what a, what a waste of time. You know, I, I wish he told me what happened, like what, what took place. So I just bought this. I don't know if I showed this to you guys yet. It's a, um, a pump in reservoir it looks like it'd be fun to play with so i i bought it it was only 20 bucks now it says that it's a pc water pump pre-filled i don't know what that means exactly pre-filled pre-filled with what i mean it does show like it has some green stuff in it which i really hope they don't like i don't need no fluid inside of that i'm just going to pour that out anyway so anyway um i just thought i would let you guys know what was going on Happy New Year's. Um, I appreciate all you guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, y'all be cool. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I'll let y'all know when I buy another graphics card. Um, yeah, I'll let you know. I'm just kind of disappointed.